And it turns out that you can't really measure this at all until children understand cardinality, because when you ask them which side has more dots, we have a bunch of studies looking at this and finding that really they don't know what more means until they understand cardinality. So if you think about it, like if you, if you imagine it was chocolate, if you said which side has more chocolates with an S on the end, then you're supposed to point to the more numerous group. But if I said which side has more chocolate, like you're hungry, which side are you gonna grab? You'd grab the one with more area, right? Like more chocolate, you wanna eat more chocolate. And that's just like an S on the end of the noun. Which side has more dots versus which side has more dot stuff? I don't know. Um, they don't know, they're, they're four years old. Like they're not that sensitive to the little S on the end that tells you it's supposed to be individuated instead of a mass noun. And so, so they're performing at chance and all these studies and people are concluding things that they shouldn't be concluding because there's nothing wrong with their estimation acuity. They just don't understand what you're asking them. So I think that intervention efforts should focus on counting and spoken number words first at this very young age, three and four year olds. I think they should be practicing counting, they should be practicing subitizing, and they should be learning about cardinality because once they understand cardinality, we see big, big improvements on a whole range of other conceptual number tasks that don't even have to do with counting. 